Chapter 2 The Water Ghost In the olden days in China, fishermen knew ghosts of the drowned lived at the bottom of the river. What they did not know was that the water ghost of Huangbo River wished to find someone to take his place. One night, the water ghost climbed aboard the boat of a fisherman named Jihijian and when the fisherman learned over the side to haul in his nets, the water ghost pushed him into the freezing water. Jihijian quickly lost consciousness. The ghost pulled his body to shore and placed the ghost tablet upon his tongue. Then the ghost flew to the underworld to speak to Yen Lo Wang, Emperor of Dead Souls. I have found someone to take my place, he announced. But Jihi Jian was not dead. When he was certain the ghost was gone, he hurried home and bolted the door. Meanwhile, Yen Lo Wang looked into the book of the living and the dying and saw Jihi Jian had not been entered. Go back and take your rightful place. Yen Lo Wang told the ghost, and if you do not retrieve your tablet, you will never leave the river. The ghost flew back and found the fisherman's cottage. And when Jihi Jian answered the knock, the water ghost began to weep. Please return my tablet or I am doomed. Jihi Jian said, I will return your tablet if you make sure my nets are always full. Naturally, the ghost agreed. After a while, the water ghost began to appear to talk to Jihi Jian. Before long, they became friends. Jihi Jian stopped him from killing any innocent man, woman or child. The water ghost agreed each time. Three years passed. Yen Lo Wang, the emperor of dead souls, decided to recommend him for a promotion to the Jed Emperor. The water ghost was appointed to a post at the Cheng Huang Temple. He left an invitation for Jihi Jian to attend the ceremony. When Jihi Jian found the invitation, he hurried to the temple. But the grounds and temple were deserted. The fisherman lay down to sleep. In his dream, he saw a water ghost hand him a bag of coins. You saved me from killing. I will always watch over you. When Jihi Jian woke, he found a bag of gold beside him. Forever afterwards, the fisherman missed his friend, the ghost of Huangbo River. But the ghost, as usual, never came to meet him, for he was the purest soul of all, who always helped the needy people.